trying to jump a fence. It is it though. The branch sorting they usually have, you need to Google it. You can see there's two there's two circle pins put together. There's an opening between it. What's what's your gate? So 12 foot opening in the middle. Two person team. You've got 10 head of cattle, zero, one, two, three. Each cow has one number on them. And maybe a trash cow, which is a blank. As soon as you cross that opening, your judge drops his flag and they say, your number is five. You have to start with the five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four. And only those numbers in numerical order can go to the other side. And you, you, and you only got 60 seconds to do it. Wow. Yeah, that's, so that's fun. It, it is, it's frustrating. <laughs> it's a very infuriating sport. Um, team pinning, they have 30 head of cattle, three cows with each number on it. So three zero, three one, three two, like that. No trash cattle. There at the end of a bigger arena, maybe not this wide, but more of the full length, there's a pin on the opposite end, 60 second also, three member team. As soon as you cross your foul line, which is where you, yeah, okay, 40 foot, which you have from your from your end gate across your herd. It's not much room for a mistake. Okay, drop the flag, say your number's five again. You are to go in, get three fives out, get them in that pin. There's people that do it to 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 15 on a fast one, depends on what cattle you work. And you have to take them to the pin and raise your hand. You don't have to shut a gate. That's a pretty big sport, I suppose. It's huge. It's huge. So all, we, all, we, all we've heard about is like the little uh, like rodeo stuff, barrel stuff. The play days. So those are more of your play day, and they're fun too. Like, um, where are y'all from? So we're from Palestine. Palestine. Okay, so Palestine, I think even, or maybe it's Frankston. It's a little club. Okay. Um, so the cowboy churches, Cross Brand Cowboy Church, that puts on a lot of play days. They actually have one Sunday. Um, and it's cheap, like $20 for all classes. If you go to church, you get to get her free. Um, that gets pretty competitive in the age groups. They have lead lines and they have age groups. Um, there's Barn on Cowboy Church in Tatum that puts on some. And I guess with those kind of horses, they gotta be really cattle horses. It's almost like these dogs. They gotta kind of. It depends read, on your level. Read a, cow, read a cow pretty good. If you if you are trying to move up and be super competitive, absolutely, you need to have a horse that's sure enough going to jump, move, maybe some cut and training. When you're first starting out. You don't have to have that, maybe too much horse. A horse that'll just go when I ask it to go, turn when I ask it to turn. You can do what they call like a beginner class, a beginner range hand, and you have an upper level hold the gate for you, and you go get your cows out one at a time. Um, until you kind of get the basics of that, you don't need the number one top caddy horse. Because I see a lot of people just starting and they get this super awesome horse, and it's not bad, it's just not a good match in the no, beginning. No, we, we, we need to go ground up. Yeah, you do. I mean, you don't need a horse that when the kid kicks and he won't go, or if you try to get him to go through a gate and he rears up. I mean, that would be terrible. Yeah. But you don't need one trying to cut a hole in the ground on the first cow that moves, because that's a little much, too. That's right. um, as you start working your way up, then you're going to start hunting that more upper level horse. But to start out with that, then no, I wouldn't suggest starting. Yeah. Okay. So, good questions. Good. You guys, you, you need to look me up on Facebook too, Jessica Jones. Um, I share a lot of play days. Reach out to me. I'd love to share you all the information I have and shows. And there's practices. Sometimes in mixing, they do sorting practices. Um, sorting for Christ is great for beginners. Yep. They've got a beginner youth class, and then they have like, it's just a beginner class, isn't it? Yeah, beginner. So beginner class, so they would have, um, and it's one of your cheaper entry fees. And then there's also practices that would be better. They practice a lot in Greensville. Do you all have your own horses or? Yeah, we've got a few horses. Okay, good. So yeah. it's not like you have nothing and you That's have right. to, yeah. we well, got three horses. So, so, so the hardest thing is showing up. Okay. That's it. Yeah. And what is your name? So Megan Harris. Okay. We and talked to you actually, years before we... you were at Rob Bass thing. Oh yeah. And uh, you're talking about the CrossFit you were into. Oh yeah. And you tell her. Okay. Well, that's not. And I turned 40 this year and I've got to start back. A friend of mine just paid for a month of me to get my butt back. I turned 40 in April and I'm going downhill fast. No. no, no. Oh, it's awful. No. I got like mom bod and I'm. You think as much as I walk out here, I do. Okay. So where are you CrossFitting at? I I don't do CrossFit, but um, I just work out. Awesome. At home. Awesome. Well, you look amazing. Just, oh, yeah. Thank you. I, I thought I did. And, no. no, no, you're great. <laughs> so, yeah. So, he, he, he just told me, like, Wednesday, this is what I got you for your birthday. So, I'm like, okay. I guess I should start Monday. <laughs> so, we got a horse sale this week, and I'm like, okay, Monday it is. So, I mean, so it's funny. But, yeah, uh, send me a message, and I'll send you flowers. I mean, they're all around. Um, yeah. There's one, another one coming up at Branded by Cross Cowboy Church, which is right there in Russ. It's a really great one for, for, for the kids, and then kind of get started on that. There's ranked sorting coming up. I'd love 
Because so we can direct you guys. We were looking at another horse, but if there's one available, I was just kind of hesitant now to know if I should go down on that horse or just kind of wait to see what stuff is. I don't know what the horse does. I don't know what. We really only have one horse that we feel comfortable with, like traveling. We have three. Um, They're one. farm horses. That's and okay. And they'll run cattle, they'll get yeah. them cows. Well, then that's half the battle. The yeah. fact that, they, that they're going to respond, like I said, if they stop and go and do when you ask, and that's, yeah, yeah. that's the beginning start of it. And then you can, as you decide what discipline you want to focus on more with your children, these are your kids. Yeah, yeah. So you decide what fits you and you and your children. Yeah. They may love the play day, you may like the sorting. Yeah. It'd be cheaper if they all do the play day and you do the sorting. Yeah. <laughs> But it's fun. I mean, we, we've got finals coming up in June at RSNC. It's pretty big. There's several hundred teams usually in the class. It's a big deal. So it's, it's fun. Yeah.